Hi, my name's Jim. I'm the owner of Very Secure Doors website. What I'm going to do is give you a tutorial on how to design your own rock door. So, from the Very Secure Doors homepage, what we want to do is click the link onto the uh, rock door homepage. So, we'll click that there. This is the rock door homepage. Rock door are the actual people that actually make rock doors. Here, we want to click the design and order part. So, we're just going to click that bit there, and there are three options there to choose from. We're going to click the homeowners design a rock door. This will now load the rock door portal, and from here, we're going to design all the different rock doors. The reason I fit rock doors is plain and simple because they're the best doors out there. They're not the cheapest. If you want a cheaper composite doors, yeah, you can go and get one from somewhere, but I'm not into that game. I fitted cheap composite doors for people before and I refuse to do it now. So I just concentrate on good quality doors. As I said, they're not the cheapest doors, but they are the best out there. And you can fit a door with confidence knowing that you're going to get very few, if any, problems from a rock door. Right, the rock door design is open now. So what we'll need to do is work out the configuration of door that you've got. You might have a door on its own. You might have a door with a top light. Rock door call it a fan light, I call it a top light. You could have it with a door and a side light. So you've got a door with a side light with a mid rail. You could have it a door with just a side light, no mid rail. You might not have a side light that side, it could be the other side. So you've got different combinations that you can choose from. You could even have just a flag window. So there's lots of different options that you can go for when you want to design your door. So I'm going to put it back to standard with just a door. Now we need to tell it, is it hinged on the left or the right from the outside? So we look from the outside, is your door hinged on the left or is it hinged on the right? I'll choose left for this example. Does it open in, does it open out? 99% of the time it opens in, so I'll select that. Three more choices here, ultimate, elite and select. In my opinion, the ultimate is the best door by far. The Elite and Select are okay. They're very good doors, comparable to the composite doors, but to be honest, in my opinion, the Ultimate door is the one to go for. A little bit more money, but worth every penny, to be honest. So we click Next. It's asking for the sizes now, so you can go and measure your door, and it's not a bad idea if you do do that, actually, because if you've got a very narrow door, and the door that you're trying to design is too small the rock door designer will tell you so let's say you've been out and measure your door you measure the top the middle and the bottom from brick to brick on the width so let's say the middle bits the narrowest part we'll say we'll take the measurement from there let's say it's 910 millimeters we'll take 10 millimeters off so we'll call it 900 millimeters so we'll enter that there on the width hit return or enter on your keypad measure the height top to bottom left and right Let's say it's 2110 millimeters. We'll take 10 millimeters off, and that gives us a final size of 2100. That will be the size that you're ordering the door. Don't panic if you can't measure it or you're not sure about your measurements. It's just to give you some idea at this stage. What you never do is measure the door tight brick to brick because if the brickwork's not level and it can be out of level in two different planes, then you've got no chance of fitting that door properly. So we need to make the door a little bit smaller for now. So when it comes to be fitted, you've got a bit, of, you've got a 10 mil gap all the way around the frame, so you can move it, get it nice and level, nice and plumb. But again, don't worry too much about that for now. So we'll start with those measurements: 900 by 2100. Hit next. Now we need to choose a door that we're going to design for ourselves. So you can go through all the different options of doors there. There's loads of different doors to choose from on there. I won't name them all. Uh, what I'll do, I think I'll design the rock door Jacobean and do the Apollo which is the most popular door that Rock Door actually do. So we'll click Jacobean. Now it's going to ask us what external colour we want. I'm going to choose black. There's all these different colours that you can go for. You know the colour that you might want and you can go back and change it at a later date and, and have a look at different colours. But we'll choose black for now. Select internal door colour. I'm going to go for white you could choose black, some people think because we've got a black door it must be black inside, that's not the case, generally go for white because it just makes the door a lot brighter inside in the hallway or the room that you've got. I'm going to select the Apollo glass, there's all these different sorts of glass that you can choose for the Jacobean range now, but I'm going to go for the Apollo, as I said it's the most popular door that Rock Door do. 
again now we've got a load of choices there for the backing glass I'm going to choose the clear one because you'd put a clear with the Apollo glass all doors a little bit different onto which backing glass you have but I'm doing this door I'm designing the Apollo so I'm going to go for the clear now we've got a few more options to choose from so the first few options we've already selected and the first one that we come to that we haven't had any bearing on yet is the uh, handle you can have a lever 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 small lever lever split spindle there's lots of options there don't worry too much at this stage which is the one to go for it's not critical at the moment all we're bothered about really is designing the door how you want it to look so we'll stick with the lever lever handle do you want a knocker yeah it looks quite nice on this door and it's quite nice to put an earned spy hole so we'll select earned spy hole let's put the knocker on the door and if you click this link there it will give you the look view from the inside so that shows you the door from the inside it's all white as I said so it's nice and bright inside there's the Apollo glass how you see it from the inside go back to the external view do we want a letter plate yes we'll have a standard letter plate you can have it in the middle as it's drawn it there or you can have it at the bottom you know it's gone to the bottom there most people have it in the middle but it's up to you it's your door you put it where you want locks you can have two hooks or four hooks it won't show you whether there's two hooks or four hooks in the door but basically you have a hook top and the bottom then you've got your shoot bolt in the middle you can have four hooks if you want you don't need four hooks I've never known anybody uh, been broke into because they've only had two hooks instead of the four um, night latch I'll draw it on just so you can see what it looks like so select that let's have a look from the inside I'm sure you'll recognize that as a, a Yale latch I'll delete it for now because I don't want it on this door so I'll select no night latch again let's have a look back from the outside standard construction now you're looking at the core now you can have in the rock door you can have a steel mesh that goes in that part of the door and again do you really need it is anybody stand is anybody going to stand there with a the grinder trying to cut the way through your door and to be honest the answer is probably not it's far easier to smash a window through so yes it's there if you want steel mesh it's a bit overkill really but it's there if you want it if you've got a really nice house with some valuables and you live in the country you're not overlooked maybe it's an option to go for you can add the numerals to the door I'll select say number 22 on the polished chrome it doesn't stand out very well to be honest but let's just show you it in satin chrome it's a lot brighter than other numerals on the door in real life the numerals do stand out and they are very good they're very good quality uh, security chain let's say we'll select a silver chain let's have a look on the inside it shows you the silver chain let me remove the silver chain so you can see how it's disappeared there it goes so we'll add it back so we'll put the silver chain back spy hole no spy hole because we've already got a door knocker with a spy hole built into it so we won't need a spy hole as well hardware color there's probably three that you'd go for on this door there's a polished gold polished chrome and satin chrome at the moment I've selected satin chrome door backing glass I've chosen is clear there's a load to choose from but on this door I go for clear because the doors fairly obscure as well and by choosing clear it backing glass it keeps the door at an A rating let's say I for example I'm going to choose misted backing glass see how it's dropped it from an A rating to a C rating but don't get too hung up on the ratings from A to C even D because there's not that much between them and it's there's not a huge difference so don't get too hung up on the rating some people think everything's got to be A rated and but to get an A rated door by and large you've got to have a clear backing glass but it depends on the style of glass to begin with as to whether you have a clear backing or obscure but again don't get too worried about that at the moment that's not really a problem secured by design I won't go into that at this stage I won't explain the details there but I'll leave that for another video frame options add-ons the first four options don't worry about the add-ons basically all the land add-on doors is at a 15 mil clip to the top there you can only just see it but it, it just makes the door a little bit bigger if it needs to and a little bit wider and for certain circumstances you need to do that as a homeowner designing your door forget that don't worry about those does your door have a sill most likely it does not always but let's say if it has a sill now it must have another sill when it's replaced so it's added a silter there if you look at it from the inside you can see what it looks like on the inside although you don't generally see a sill very often from the inside of a door 
sill color let's say you want the door all black on the outside we can select black on white for the sill the sills now changed to black frame color we can go to black on white so now all the outside of the door is black all the inside of the door is white but let's say we want a white frame so we'll select it back to a white select the frame color back to white so we've now got the white frame and the white sill on the outside not going to go too much into thresholds at the moment but you've got different options there that you can choose from now you've designed your door and you look the inside the outside I think yeah that's that's sort of the door that I want what we can now do is save that door so we use a snipping tool I don't know if you use a snipping tool but you can download it and add it to your windows it's a brilliant little tool so if you click the snipping tool what I can now do is drag around the image that I want let go of the mouse and now I can save that image to save as go to the desktop find the rock door folder there we go so I've already saved one earlier so I'll overwrite that yes I'll save that one there and then I'll take an image from the inside so now I've got the image information of the inside of the door and the frame options file save as Jacobean internal view yes so I've saved that file there so I've, you've now saved those images and what I'd like you to do if you can is it to email those images across to me and then what I can do is email you a price for the door that you've designed you can at this stage if you want to choose a different door so you might say well I've seen the Jacobean Apollo it's in black I'd like to see it what it looks like in grey so click the colour choose grey white inside Apollo glass again clear backing glass now back to the list of options so we can see what the grey looks like you might want to see what it looks like in say blue so we can select blue also another very popular colour white inside again Apollo glass clear backing because your measurements are already in there and we know the handing of the door it's hinged on the left in this example you can go round now and go backwards and forwards changing the colours and changing the styles of the doors so we've seen three different colours now for the Jacobean Apollo let's say we'll get rid of the Jacobean let's go for a Portland let's have a look at that in black white internal we'll choose the Portland beacon glass clear back in on that door so you can see what that looks like then again if you want to save that door you can snip the door open the snipping tool drag the crosshairs around the image file save as I've already done this earlier we'll save it Portland Beacon external view yes so now I've got an image of that so you could also frame options internal view snipping tool save an image from the inside so when you save this image and you email it to me I've got all the information in here to look at so I can go file save as Portland Beacon but it's the internal view now so internal hit enter save close that and that's all you need to do one other thing if you could is send me an image of the door that you've already got so I can pick up a little bit more information from that so when you send me the images of your door which we'll get from the rock door folder so you potentially designed two doors you want a price for the Jacobean and the Portland you've got an image from the inside and the outside if you send me that information I'll price it up for you but also if you say if you can send an image of the door that you've already got that helps me design the door a little bit more accurately for you so uh, I'll leave that with you send the uh, email to enquiries at very secure doors .co .uk. it's at the top of every web page and if you get stuck on anything give us a call uh, I'm always got the phone by me uh, I pick up my emails very quickly so if you get stuck on anything just give us a call night and day I'm always got the phone with me I'm happy to talk to anybody about rock doors any time of the day up till nine o'clock at night it's not a problem uh, thanks for looking